In the wake of the Korean War, political tensions almost prevented the players from North Korea being able to travel to the World Cup in 1966. But with FIFA's insistence that any team who had fairly qualified to play at the finals should be granted a place, the North Korean flag joined the parade alongside 15 other nations at the opening ceremony at Wembley. Entering the tournament as the lowest ranked team, it would be the North Koreans' performance that would shock the world, whilst capturing the hearts and minds of local football fans in the northeast town where they would play out all of their group games. The men in red would get off to a fairly shaky start with a 3-0 defeat at the hands of the USSR, followed by a hard-fought draw in their second match, earned with an 88th minute goal against Chile. Another draw wouldn't be enough to see them through the group stage, so as the team lined up against Italy on a Tuesday night in Middlesbrough, they knew it had to be a win to earn a place in the quarter-finals. With Italy down to 10 men due to an injury, the Reds took their chance as a returned Italian clearance fell to the feet of Pak Du Ik in the 42nd minute. With the ball confidently slotted low to the far post and with the crowd going wild, the match commentator, in his shock, screeches down the microphone. So don't cheer like this for Middlesbrough! With Italy squandering two great chances in the second half, the game finished a 1-0 victory to the Koreans. A result that still stands as one of the biggest underdog stories in World Cup history. This saw the Italians knocked out of the tournament and on arrival back to Genoa Airport, they were greeted by an angry mob of fans who pelted them with rotten tomatoes. The Middlesbrough locals had been well and truly won over. So much so that when North Korea travelled to Goodison Park for the quarter-final, a 3,000-strong crowd of Borough natives made the journey to Liverpool to support them. And the North Koreans didn't disappoint, storming into a surprise 3-0 lead against Portugal after just 30 minutes. Unfortunately, the 50,000 spectators at Goodison that day witnessed a comeback inspired by the legendary Eusebio, who plundered four goals as the Portuguese ran out 5-3 winners, with José Augusto scoring the fifth. But there was no disgrace in their defeat, with the North Koreans returning home to a hero's welcome in Pyongyang. Thank <laughs> you.